Strength Work will make you faster on the bike, but it also delivers a host of other benefits. It can slow down or even reverse the loss of muscle mass associated with aging and help with weight control too. Not only this, but being more robust means you're less likely to injure yourself doing everyday tasks such as lifting the kids out the car or spending time doing the gardening. And when you're not nursing an injury, you can spend more time out on the road on your bike. Often should we be doing strength training? Um, you'll be looking for at least two times a week in order to make good progressions, uh, which could be up to three times a week as you become more familiar with it. Um, that would be through periods of when you're trying to do strength work. Uh, when you're maybe on the bike more or doing um, a lot upping your bike volume, you could bring that down to once a week just to maintain. Oh. Okay, this exercise is the goblet squat. So a really good exercise for learning the squat pattern and also strengthens the muscles around the hip and the knee and the ankle, as well as working some of the postural muscles. And so to do it, if you just pick up the kettlebell. So you're gonna pick up the kettlebell and hold it close to your chest. And then if you just do a few reps, you're gonna squat down as if you're trying to sit down onto a chair. Holding the kettlebell nice and close, keeping your chest up and at the bottom, making sure you're gripping the floor with your feet and just driving your knees out. Oh. How should we be warming up for this routine and why is that so important? So the warm-up's important because it prepares you physically and mentally to do your activity or strength session. Um, in terms of what you can do, just any kind of like aerobic activity, um, like running, rowing, cycling, but anything that just warms the temperature of the muscles and just gets your muscles ready to, to do the activity. Oh. This exercise is the lateral squat, so working on the same areas as the goblet squat, but at this time it will challenge your left and right side um, and also work on a bit of range of motion. So what you're going to do is pick up the kettlebell, this time holding it low instead of up on your chest. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna step out to the side, keeping one leg straight. And then again, managing your sitting down onto a chair. And then drive back up to the middle. And then come back out. And then drive back up. And one more. And then from there, we're just gonna repeat on the other side. So again, keeping one leg straight, squatting down on the other leg, and keeping your body nice and upright. should we be structuring the session? Okay, for the, so for this session you could do it as a circuit or just do each exercise by itself. Um, but what you'd be looking to do to begin with is probably do kind of low reps, so maybe oh. five to six, just to get used to the exercise and get used to the movement. And then you can start progressing the reps up to maybe 15 to 20, um, just to challenge yourself. Once you're up into those higher reps, you probably want to start then looking to maybe add more weight, but bring the, the reps down. Um, and then just keep progressing that cycle of moving up through the higher reps, adding weight, coming back down. So this exercise is a stiff leg deadlift or an RDL, Romanian deadlift. Um, so it's a good exercise to work the posterior chain or glutes and hamstrings um, and also start to learn a hip hinge pattern. And so what you're going to do is pick up the kettlebell, stand up nice and tall, you want to keep your shoulders back and then all you're gonna try and do is just push your hips backwards so you start to feel the pressure onto your heels and then stand back up. And all you're trying to do is hip hinge at the hip with very little movement of the knee. And what about a cool down? Um, so with these activities, like as you start adding more weight, you probably want to um, yeah, make sure you cool down and potentially do some foam rolling or stretching um, or even repeating what you did in your warm-up, just doing light aerobic activity. Oh. So this exercise we're going to do next is a front plank. 
Um, so good for working the anterior chain or the abdominals, um, but also working a little bit of upper body. You can do it two ways, an easier way, and then progress it a little bit. The first way is that you just support yourself on your elbows and then just balance on your knees. And making sure you're keeping yourself in a nice straight line from your head all the way through to your knee and keeping your head in a neutral position. Okay, if that feels okay, you can then progress it up onto your feet. So you're just gonna raise your knees off the floor and now you're balancing on your toes and your elbows. And again, keeping a nice straight line through the body holding a strong position. Oh. I know a lot of people worry about this one as bike riders. If you're doing strength routines, will it make us all bulk up? Uh, depending on how you do it and your nutrition, it won't. Um, so you can definitely get stronger without getting bigger. Um, it's just making sure that you're watching how much your volume and watching your nutrition. Oh. Okay, this exercise is the side plank, so similar to the front plank, trying to work around the abdominals and different sections of that, um, but also hitting the upper body. What we're going to do, we've got two exercises. You can start, again, easier, like the front plank, on your knees. So this time you're just going to support yourself on one elbow, um, on the knee, and just work down this side. Again, similar to front plank, keeping your body nice and aligned. Um, and then a progression for that is then you could go onto your feet where you could put your top leg in front and again, just hold that strong position. It's important to make sure you keep your hip away from the floor and hold a nice straight position. With this exercise and the front plank, you'd be looking to maybe start with 20 to 30 seconds. And then as you get better, looking to progress towards a minute or two minutes. How do I progress this routine on? Um, so the exercise in itself, like I say, you can play around with the reps or the weight, um, just so you can keep um, stimulating the body to move forward. Um, if not, you can move on to more advanced exercises, which will um, stress the system a little bit more. Click here for more advanced strength exercises, or click down here for the British Cycling Mobilisation Routine.